Hey guys, some gamer dude here. So in the last video of this trilogy of Pokemon videos talking about the uh, rumors and theories surrounding Generation One, I want to talk about the presumed connection between Venonat and Butterfree, as they look very similar, and so do Metapod and uh, Venomoth. So there's an idea that they that they were switch during development. Now, Generation 1 is very interesting because uh, we can actually see how the Pokemon were designed uh, in order because they were programmed into the game in the order they were designed. Likewise, uh, Pokemon Generation 1, because it took so some six years to design and program, it stopped and started a few times because Game Freak did other projects to get money to develop Pokemon. Uh, this is very evident by the fact that when you get up to about Pokemon Entry 82, Vulpix, Pokemon start to go in evolutionary order for the first time. Uh, for those who don't know, the missing nose uh, that you'll see on screen right now are not those Generation 2 Pokemon originally. It's what that data is uh, placed as in Pokedex order, well, National Dex from Generation 2. It doesn't actually represent what they really were originally. Anyway, today we're discussing the Venonat and Butterfree thing. If Venonat and Butterfree are far away from their evolutionary lines, we will have a point. If they're close together uh, to each other or their evolutionary lines, we might have um, the uh, we might be able to debunk it. So let's look at Venonat. Venonat's all by itself in the, th the 65th Pokemon designed. It's got no one around it uh, related to it, and not even another bug type. Then we go to Venomoth and the Butterfree line, which are much closer together. But interestingly enough, uh, Venomoth is with another bunch of Pokemon which are evolutions to earlier designed Pokemon. Whereas the Caterpie line is in a straight forward evolutionary line. This was designed as a three stage Pokemon. And I think that's about it for the video. I think that just debunks it by itself. When we get up to this point of the Pokedex, all the Pokemon are designed to fill in spaces that they've uh, designed originally, uh, evolutions or lower forms, or are designed as straight up evolutionary lines. Butterfree is designed as a straight up evolutionary line. There would have to be some massive, massive scrubs for the theory to be right. But I don't think it is. And I think it's more a byproduct of the sheer fact that some design traits and artistic traits will be carried over between designs of the same artist. Uh, similar eyes, body structure, uh, what have you. But that's it for today. I think we've debunked this pretty easily. It's not very hard. I, I don't know why anyone hasn't just gone onto the uh, Bulbapedia and gone through the hex phone gun. Huh. Well, they were designed clearly together. Anyway, this has been some Gamer Dude, and I'll see you guys next time.